Warren Buffett would say it. Just because the sector is going to have a long-term future, if there is an over-investment, too much investment flowing, it doesn't mean most companies will make it. That's an absolute truth. I am afraid that some of this is going to repeat because we have just had massive amount of funding going into sectors without regard to profit. It does feel like the emphasis is shifting from building service uh, companies to building core technology. And as angel investors, it's, it's quite important for people to be thinking in terms of technology investments. Hi, I am Srishti, AI newsreader of Channelium.com. Corolla startups will receive an investment of 18 core 40 lakh rupees soon. Funds are raised for investments through Angel Networks. The funds were announced at Startup Mission's 8th Seeding Corolla Summit. Investing in startups by universities and the business community is likely to become very dominant in the startup ecosystem. Kerala's efforts to strengthen its startup environment received a significant boost when emerging startups in the state were guaranteed investments totaling Rs 18.4 crore, opening a new chapter in the government's initiatives to build a vibrant early-stage ecosystem. Koikode-based Sparks Angel Network and Kerala Angel Network both announced raising investments totaling Rs 8 crore and Rs 5 crore respectively in the state's startups at the Seeding Kerala Conclave hosted by the Kerala Startup Mission KSUM. Phoenix Angels announced that it was making an investment of Rs 3.5 crore and an additional Rs 1.45 crore was expected from a pool headed by startup entrepreneurs. The Kochi-based real estate firm Humblex, formed in 2018, has received an investment of Rs 40 lakh from GSF Accelerator. Kerala Startup Mission Seeding Kerala is set up to open up investment routes and to raise investor knowledge of startup investment prospects. Kerala is anticipating an electronics revolution, according to KSUM CEO Anoop Ambika. He asserted that ICT-based products should receive emphasis in addition to the IT services sector. So there is an electronics revolution that is possible as part of this startup enablement that we are doing. And I think Maker Village and uh, Fab Labs are going to play a major role in this ecosystem. So we have the infrastructure, we have the intellectual capital. The next thing is the investment. So we really need seed capital coming into these companies. Entrepreneurs from Kerala received finance of Rs 2000 crore last year. The SaaS industry has the biggest percentage of startups, 41.7%. Hardware accounted for 20.8% of sales, while AI, FinTech, EdTech and Healthcare constituted 8.3%. In the D2C category, Kerala has 4.2% startups. At Seeding Kerala, the Kerala Startup Mission also announced the recipients of this year's Fund of Funds. Amrita Venugopal, Vice President at Siemens, Sanjay Mehta, the founder of investment firm 100X VC, and Tony Thomas, a co-founder of the Zoho Group, gave the keynote address. So entrepreneurs have to be always hungry and trying to gather as much as, as, much as business and solve as much customer problems what is available kind of stuff. Sridhar Vembu, the CEO of Zoho Group, Anish Achudan, the founder of Open Financial Technologies and other unicorn company founders and investors spoke at the summit. As part of Seeding Kerala, a stakeholders meet was also organized which was attended by representatives from the public, private, academic and corporate sectors. The Investment Cafe hosted a marathon pitching session of chosen startups on the second day of the summit.